Just over 12 hours ago, he was in Washington voting on the budget. Now he is here answering our questions about that and more. Senator Tim Scott, thank you for coming to talk with us. Absolutely. It's good to be with you in the studio. All right. Uh, your office has been putting on a hiring our heroes event across the state. Yes. Get, getting veterans back to work. How many veterans have gotten jobs out of what your initiative has done? Well, our goal is to have between 8 and 10% of the veterans who show up at the jobs fair become employed because of the vendors who are there. So we only had it 48 hours ago, so it's going to take a little time for the surveys to come in. But the good news is we had almost 200 veterans show up, 54 vendors, six government organizations participating in the process of hiring our heroes. Nationwide, I think the number is over 25,000 veterans have been through the Hiring My Heroes program. So it's going to be successful. We just look forward to more of it. And these are companies who are actively looking to hire, right? Exactly. These are folks not showing up just to do someone a favor. These are folks who understand and appreciate the necessity of bringing some of the best talent in the, in the country mm -hmm to bear on their or organizations. And so it's good news. These guys are hiring. We had a lot of human resource folks there. Throughout the state, we had nearly 24 workshops helping veterans get their uh, their work skills in place, get their resumes in line, and make sure that they can talk the, lingu the lingo outside of the military. Excellent. All right, let's talk about the budget. I think like 3.28 a.m., the final vote yes. came in. You voted in favor of it, along with Senator Graham. Yes. Um, it does a couple of things. It, it starts to dismantle the Affordable Care Act. It cuts $5 trillion in spending over 10 years. But this has to now get through the House, and then past the president. Yeah. So the good news is for the first time in 20 years, the United States Senate has just done what every family in America does. We've passed a budget and our ba budget actually balances within the 10 year window. The House passed a budget, so we'll have a conference committee to get those two different budgets to be on the same page. And, and they're different. They're different. So we've got some things that will be ironed out and then it'll go to the president and he'll have an opportunity to to work with us or not, the chances are not very high that he will, but mm -hmm. at least we've got done what we needed to get done for the American people, which is to actually have a document that tells us how to govern the finances of this country. We haven't had that balance in 20 years. And what I find interesting, though, is it wasn't easy to get to that vote. Well, we had no Democrat support, so we have 54 Republicans. And two Republicans siding with the Democrats. Exactly, so 52. So you could not lose nearly anyone in order for us to have a successful budget. The good news is that we were able to, to pacify or satisfy the different wings of the Republican Party. It was a challenge. It was a monumental effort that ended with a successful passing. All right. You know, I have to ask, speaking of the Republican Party, yes. 2016, well, next yes. year, uh, there's a long list of Republicans who are prob probably going to run for that nomination. Chances are your name is going to be on a short list for a ticket. What are your thoughts? Well, uh, I know for sure that Lindsey Graham is not going to have two South Carolinians on his <laughs> ticket, so the chances are pretty good. He is uh, he's have likely to run. To, to figure that out. Yeah, listen, I, I am blessed to serve the great state of South Carolina and our nation. My hope is that the good Lord will allow me to continue to serve here at home, and whatever I can do to be make to be helpful to our ballot being successful in 2016. I'm happy to do that. So where do you go to now? Next, we're going to, well, we just finished a fantastic tour in Spartanburg of the north side, mm -hmm. looking at the new development. I'm going to be the uh, chairman of the banking subcommittee on housing, community development, and mass transit. I hope to make our programs here in the area a national model. So I've been spending a lot of time on that. We have another event after this one, so we've been busy since... Uh, we woke up at 5 o'clock. I went to sleep at 5 o'clock. You're operating morning. on three hours of sleep. Three hours. <laughs> so if I'm gurgling, gurgling or something, <laughs> yeah. Thank be you. forgiving. Thank you for coming in and speaking live with Absolutely. us, Senator Tim Scott. Now let's